Hey guys, this is Rich from Rich TV Live, and I'm going to show you how you can walk from one side of Sasua Beach to the other. I'm at the farthest point. Let's do this. Let's see how long it takes. And let's see all the sights and sounds of Sasua Beach in January 2019. I do have a villa here. It's Villa 613 Casalinda. If you'd like to rent a property, you can contact me at richtvlive at gmail.com. We can talk about rates. If you're a supporter of Rich TV Live, I might be able to give you a discount. But this is one of my favorite beaches to go to when I'm in the Dominican Republic. My villa is in Porta Plata. The two major places that people travel to in the Dominican Republic are Porta Plata and Punta Cana. Punta Cana is more known as a tourist resort area and Porta Plata is more known for people that own villas, apartments, condos and want to enjoy the Dominican lifestyle with the locals and be more like with the people. So this is where I decided to build a villa and I enjoy my time here when I want to come on vacation and do different things. Oh, there's only one guy on there. Funny. So, yeah, so the Dominican Republic is a country of about 10 million people. Santo Domingo is the capital. And here in Porta Plata, there are two major beaches. There's Cabarete Beach and Sasua Beach. This is Sasua Beach. This is my preferred beach. A little bit more lively, more music. I would say a younger crowd, more vibrant crowd. Whereas Cabarete, you're going to find is... Um, a lot of tourists, um, a little bit more high-end, more expensive, and just a more calm environment, which is fine, nothing wrong with that. We go there as well, but I personally prefer this beach. This is my favorite beach. This is my preferred beach, and this is the beach that I think has the most entertainment. I mean, you can see there's so many people in the water, there's music, there's friends, there's family, there's children, there's people of all ages here. But the most important thing is they're all just having fun. Now today is a holiday here. It's Martin Luther King Day. So there's a lot of people that are out today that normally wouldn't be because it is a holiday here in the Dominican Republic. So you see a lot of families and a lot of kids. Normally on a Monday, you will not see this many families and kids. This is typical on a Saturday or Sunday. I would say if you come to Sasua Beach on a Sunday, that will be the busiest day of the week because that's when most people are off work and they'll take their families to the beach and spend the day at the beach. So if you're looking for uh, a busy day, a lot of people on the beach, Sunday on Sasua Beach may be your best bet. You can see the water is absolutely beautiful. Just super clean, super clear, and very warm. And the best part is this is the winter time for the Dominican Republic right now. So this is not their summer, this is their winter. And yet the weather is fabulous, the water is fabulous, it's warm. There's not many waves here, so this isn't a really good beach for surfing. This is more a beach for just chilling, hanging out, enjoying the water, and enjoying what the Dominican Republic has to offer. Now up top there's shops where you can buy drinks and food, souvenirs, pictures, so it's pretty cool. You got all the shops you need right up there. A lot of them have Wi-Fi as well. And then, you know, steps away from the beach, the sunshine, the beautiful water, where you can really just enjoy what the Dominican Republic has to offer here, all in one place here on Sasua Beach. There's literally people from all over the world here, from every single possible country you could think of, and they're all just having a good time and enjoying a beautiful country with beautiful people. Everybody's taking pictures, everybody's making videos, trying to make the most of, like I said, this beautiful country and this beautiful experience. For some of you that have not come to the Dominican Republic, 
I would suggest you do. This is one of the best places in the world to vacation. It's relatively cheap compared to most places. Very affordable, but yet a very amazing experience. Lots of culture. The food is fabulous. And if you need some coaching and some advice on where to go, like I said, you can contact me. You can follow us on Instagram. You can subscribe to us on YouTube. Now, if you like this video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere. Remember, if you like this video and you share it and other people get a chance to see this video, it helps everybody. It helps everybody understand what the Dominican Republic's all about. It gives everybody an inside look on Sua Beach. So if somebody's looking to go on a vacation, they can have a better idea of what to expect when they come here. One thing I can always tell people is when you come here, you don't really have to worry about much because they do a good job of taking care of you. And if there's anything you need, there's tons of people always running up to you asking if there's anything you need. So as long as you're receptive to that, you can pretty much get your hands on anything you're looking for. And I mean anything. As long as you're willing to communicate and talk to other people, you should be able to get whatever you want here in the Dominican Republic. And I mean, anything and everything is possible here. Um, unfortunately, this is a third world country. There's a lot of poverty here. Because of that, the people are always hustling, trying to survive and support their families. It's, a, it's more of a very hustling environment, which is good and, and it's sad in some ways because there, there's a lot of poverty. So they're willing to work hard to keep you happy so that they can make a livelihood. And if you want to have a good time, you can find a few people that you trust and you like, that you enjoy spending time with, and they can really help you with your trip and help you to, um, you know, uh, if you want, you know, water sports, you can get guys to help you get on the water sports. If you need something, you know, at your at your uh, hotel or at your villa, you can ask, and people will get you whatever you want. Like everything is possible here. All you have to do is ask. And literally everybody is receptive and willing to help because that's how they make their money, okay? They make money by hustling, they make money by helping people, and what you should do in those situations is, if you are working with a Dominican that's helping you, you should tip them, okay? And you should tip them because when you tip them, what it does, it spurs the economy, allows them to feel good about the fact that they helped you. Feel good about the fact that they're not wasting their time. Because these people need to survive, they need income too. So every time you're tipping them, what you're doing is you're supporting the economy. And in fact, you're making it easier for tourists because now you got more Dominicans that will be willing to work hard to, to provide services for you because of the fact that you are tipping. So. I always tell people, you know, if you really want to have a good time, you want to have a good trip, tip. You know, it doesn't cost much to give 100 pesos, which is $3 Canadian. And that goes a long way for someone here in the Dominican Republic. So if you're wondering what to tip someone, sometimes 50 pesos is more than enough, $1.50. Sometimes uh, 100 pesos, which is $3, is more than enough as well. So you don't need to go crazy with the tipping. You don't have to tip like everything you have or anything like that. It's not like that. You just have to be aware of the fact that these people have a livelihood and their livelihood is supporting the tourism. And if there's something you need, they're willing to get it for you, but you have to be willing to support them by tipping them. And if you do that, it will go a long way for these people. Look at these guys are playing Frisbee. Oh. Everyone's just in the water having a great time. Look at this. Everyone just in the water having a great time, enjoying the beautiful sunshine. People from all walks of life, all over the world, getting together, playing games, and just enjoying themselves. So, this is what I love about the Dominican Republic. There's no issues with religion, there's no issues with prejudice, there's no issues with color and politics everybody puts that aside and everybody just gets along to spur the growth of the economy to allow the tourism to thrive and because of that it makes our time when we're here as tourists 
when we're vacationing, it makes it memorable. It really does. I mean, I can't remember a time. <laughs> what's up, buddy? What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> I can't remember a time I came to the Dominican Republic and didn't have a good time. I mean, do you see that? They want to be on camera. They want to have fun. They want to. They want to be on YouTube. They want to be entertained. These are not people that are afraid. These are people that, in fact, they 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 want to be stars. They want. They believe that that they have what it takes to be a star. And a lot of them have that potential. And this is a country where there's a lot of potential that might be undiscovered because it's a third world country. You know, one of the things a lot of people don't know is that Dominican Republic is one of the best countries in the world for baseball. Now, how can a country with only 10 million people in poverty, a very poor country, third world country, compete with powerhouses like America in baseball? Other than the fact that they're just very talented people. They're talented people, they're very skilled and they've developed a love for the game. And because they've developed a love for the game, they've been very successful at baseball, and they're one of the powerhouses in the world as far as baseball now. Look at the boats. Look at all the boats. So we're nearing the end of the beach here. Beautiful views. You can see all the sights and all the sounds. Absolutely loving my time here, having a great trip. It makes it really memorable when you have friends that can come along and enjoy all the moments with you. So it's been an amazing trip so far. We still have one week left, but I'll be honest with you, I'm having such a good time. I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back home. This is paradise. I love this country. I love the people. I love Sasua Beach. Now I'd like to know what you guys think. If you guys have been to Sasua Beach, if you have had a good experience on Sasua Beach, please comment down below. Let me know about the experiences that you had here on Sasua Beach. One of the best beaches here in the Dominican Republic. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything to come to the beach. You just come with your friends, come with your family, come with your loved ones, come by yourself and just enjoy what the beach has to offer. Fun, sun, drinks, food, music, and entertainment for all ages. You can rent a boat, you can rent water sports, you can rent jet skis, anything you want you can get here in the Dominican Republic. They've literally thought of everything so that you can enjoy your trip and enjoy your stay and have, like I said, a memorable experience every single time you come here to the Dominican Republic. They want to make sure that when you come here, it won't be the last time you come. All right, so we have literally walked from one side of Sasua Beach to the other. You can see now from this video how long it takes to walk from one end to the other. Hope you guys enjoy this video. This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live from Sasua Beach. January 2019 it's their winter but right now it feels like my summer beautiful hot sunny day sunshine and blue skies like I said we just walked from one end of Sasua to the other Sasua Beach from tip to tip I hope you enjoyed this right there that's a resort these are resorts and there's the sights and you can see all the way down, we walked the whole thing. Everybody having fun. That's what it's all about. Alright guys, thank you for watching. This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live. Subscribe if you're live. I'm out. Peace.